I would say go to work for a company that makes something you love. That just makes everything easier. So don't do it for the money. I believe that it is no longer necessary to write a business plan. You can't foresee the future five years from now. You know, you'd be lucky if you can foresee one year from now. And even one year from now, I can tell you, you're going to be one year late. There is no way to have a clue uh, because you just don't know. The way you catalyze fantasy is to not use a top-down analysis. The way you catalyze fantasy is to talk about something that's so obvious that the investor in his or her own mind is fantasizing about how great your company can be. To catalyze this fantasy that without being told by the entrepreneur why so many people would use it, that it's so obvious that many people would use it and that this is an attractive market. The warning signs for companies that they're sort of losing it is the inability to recruit young people, that um, they are no longer part of the conversation, and a conversation is much easier to measure today because of social media. Social media is, for a marketer, it's the best thing that ever happened. I mean, it's fast, it's free, and it's ubiquitous. It's the holy grail. I mean, you know, you're not spending five million bucks to make and place a Super Bowl commercial just the future of marketing of. Someday we won't even distinguish between social media and marketing. We'll just say marketing and it includes mostly social media and this little thing called advertising in there. The most important lesson I could leave you with is uh, the number one priority of any tech startup today is to create a prototype. That should be your number one priority. If you do the prototype right, and you get it out to market, you may never have to pitch and never have to write a business plan or do a forecast. That should be the goal. So the concept of enchantment is that you can influence and persuade and woo people by building likability and trust and a reputation for competence and quality. And if you get those three things, then you'll be able to influence people's decision making.